We'll guide you through how to use the Prism Launcher for Minecraft. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is a great application, so we'll guide you through how you can go and use it. So let's get started. What we need to do is first of all, download and install it. So open up a web browser of your choice, I'll use Chrome. Then you want to go and type in Prism Launcher like so, and come to prismlauncher.org. Here you can go and read about it, but I'll be guiding you through the main things. So you can go and press download now. Next, you want to go and press installer.exe and it will download. It has been blocked here. I've had it before, so I'll click on it and press download unverified file. Now we can start the install process. Just before we do that though, a big thank you to Apex Hosting sponsoring this video. If you're in need of a Minecraft server, go and check them out. They'll be linked down below. Right now, you can go and get 25% off your first invoice. If we scroll down, we can see they've got so many great features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24 seven servers and support, ultra latency, instant setup, a free subdomain and so much more as well. On your server, you could go and play games or just go and have a survival world with your friends. It's going to be up to you, but there's so much you can do with it. And let's go and continue with the guide. What we need to do is we need to go to our downloads. We can right click on our file explorer and come here. You want to go and find Prism Launcher and go and double click on it. You've got this pop up and we can start the install process. We can see what we need to install here. Press next and press install and let it run through. When it's finished, you can select run Prism Launcher and now it's going to go and open up. When it opens up for the first time, you're going to be prompted to sign into a Microsoft account. This is to prove that you own Minecraft. You cannot use Prism Launcher without owning it. That's super key. So you need to have owned and purchased it. Then you can go and sign in. You can see I am. What we first of all need to do is go and add an instance. So press that in the top left. Now by default, you're going to be in custom. So what you can do is go through here and see the different versions. You can choose when you want, and then you can go and press OK, and you can go and install it. I've already installed this before. But if we go and press that again, you can actually go and say select 1.21.7. Then you can scroll down to mod loader. We can see the different loaders we could get. Let's go and say I wanted it for Forge. I could then go and select it. I'll select this version of Forge and press OK. And that version will then go and be downloaded. And we can run it, press launch to the right. You get the idea. If we come over to the left though, we can go and select Curse Forge, for example, and go and see all the different mod packs. I could go and type in ATM, for example, and I could get an all the mods mod pack. I could select it, press OK, and it'll then go and be downloaded. You get the idea. If you then go across the right, you can go folders and go and see the different options we've got here. Open up your settings if you need to adjust anything, the folders, and there are loads of different things you can go through here. You shouldn't really need to go and change any of this though. You can get more help if needed, and you can go and check for any updates as well. When you go and select one of the versions here, you can come over to the right, you can launch it, you kill it, which means stopping it, edit it if needed, you can go and change the group, the folder, you can export it, copy it, delete it, or go and create a shortcut, which is really convenient. So then I can go and see it on my desktop. So I can easily go and double click it and it'll go and launch. Be patient, it's now running and we've got Forge for 1.21.7. Let's say you wanted to go and add some mods, I can close it. We can have it selected here and then we can go to the right and press folder, come into the Minecraft folder and then go into mods. I can start adding mods here. So that's it. That is how you can go and use it and start playing Minecraft with it.